welcome to this week's YouTube video from Skinworks. We're starting this week with a little bit of magic from our Nathan. So, Erin, first question. Have you ever had a psychic reading, a tarot reading, a palm reading, anything along those lines? No. no. So I'll give you a little bit of history. Many, many years, when you can Google this, this is a genuine, real thing. Playing cards used to be used as actual tarot cards back in the day and called card hunting. It's, it's a true thing that people used to practice before they actually got into tarot cards. You can see all these are uh, a different kind. Yeah. So in a second, I'm just going to lay them out just like this. Don't go for like a card that you think I might have. See how this one's extruded a bit more? Yeah. Just, you can go for that one if you want. But just all I want you to do is get your finger like this, run it up and down, and whatever card you feel drawn to, just place your finger on the back of it. This one, right here. I'm not going to look at this just yet, I'm just going to place that there. And again, you could have chose literally any one yeah. of these cards, yeah? So we can't even say, dependent upon what card you pick, it tell me something uh, about it as a person. Now obviously, hearts would represent like love. Um, spades can sometimes cut it like an arrow, it can mean like you're always trying to move forward in life. Clubs are outgoing and public people. <clears throat> but I think you, I think you'd fall under a couple of these categories, but like I say, it's sometimes the numbers as well that gives an indication to uh, something about you, this card, but you felt drawn to this card. So if you want to turn it on, let's have a look what it says about you as a person. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, that's true. <laughs> so this is just, you can tell I've got no sleeves, sleeves on. Oh uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> We've got one protect queen of clubs. Please work. Yes. So it vanishes and then when you rub again it comes back, which is pretty good idea. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Like a lot of people used to think it went under the hands. Here's a little social experiment for everybody watching at home. <laughs> and guys in the tattoo shop, please play along. So, all I want you to do at home is just relax yourself, put your feet flat on the floor. And just think of the first number that pops in your head from one step. Just the first one that pops in your head. Don't change your mind, just go with your first instincts. <clears throat> and now I want you to think of a suit that best fit that playing card. And then when you've got that in mind, if it was right, and it was this one, which was the Seven of Hearts, is what you're here for? Yeah. We got one. <laughs> if it was the Seven of Hearts, then let us know. Today Jordan's got Lee with him to show him a few hints and tips for tattooing. Today we've got Lee with us, he's doing a little bit of shadowing today, we're going to try and learn him a few tips and tricks on how to bring him on as a tattoo artist. So Lee, do you want to explain how far into tattooing you are and where you're hoping to be in the future? Uh, well, this is obviously like the second lesson. Um, I've always wanted to do Tattooing, that something. Yeah, I've always, I've always, yeah, I've always liked it. I just like when I first got my sleeve done, stuff like what twelve years ago. Yeah. And now I just feel like it's time to give it a show, it and give it, a, give it a go. Yeah. So you've obviously got all the good equipment, which we recommend. Uh, oh yeah, hundred percent recommend. Don't go out and buy cheaper stuff. Yeah. Buy the quality gear, and hopefully it'll uh, repay you in tattoos. But you've, you've been doing a course online as well, haven't you? Uh, with a guy in London. Yeah, I did a... Uh, before you sort of... Yeah, that was more like basic stuff, that like how to stencil, um, yeah. needle depth, types of needles, stuff like that, which were good, because obviously I learned a lot you know, yeah. from that. I didn't actually do any tattooing whatsoever, but it was just not like, that far to... No, no, and obviously, and then you guys started doing amazing. The, uh, the lessons, shadowing and stuff, and obviously I have to take it. Which is a good method because obviously I can tell you what I'm doing, what depths, voltages. Oh yeah, I think it's like we're actually we're shadowing and watch, it, watch actually watching you face to face. It's a lot better than it is like, you know, just like off a video on YouTube sort of thing, because little things you can't ask questions like, yeah. why did you do that? And why did you do this? and and well, if you're tattooing and you're not that experienced, you've got, you are going to go through some awkward moments where 
you thinking, I'm a little bit stuck, how can I get out of this situation? Oh yeah, 100%, I've, 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 I've had that already. I think like with my first one, it's like, step back and look at it, and obviously I did that first lesson, then I did my first tattoo on someone, and it, helped, it did help me, yeah. because I could, <laughs> it sounds cheesy, but I could hear you like saying, no, I'll just train it like this and do it like that, and then obviously like, yeah. and it's you all get about that. steps in places. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's sort of, they've seen that probably a tattoo still have been Oh here. yeah, I've had a few people already like saying, "Oh, can you do it with this? Can you do it yeah. with that?" And just at the moment, you don't want to say, to turn with, them "Yeah, around. I don't want to. I don't want to try something and then I'm, not your confidence. And yeah, not my confidence, and then I, I won't want to try it again. And obviously, that's going to be on someone's yeah, leg yeah, arm for the like, rest of their life. Yeah, and you have to cover that up in years to come. Yeah, I'll get it lasered. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But definitely, hundred um, percent recommend buying the the proper equipment. Equipment, you know? then you've got nothing to blame. Yeah, like obviously I've gone, every, tried to buy everything that you okay, guys have got. Yeah. So then there's no excuse like saying, well, that machine's yeah. not like that machine. And, and obviously the only person I can blame is himself. Yeah, so everything we're using today, you, you're just trying to imitate that same yeah, yeah. procedure. Yeah. So what excuse are you using now that you're still shit? <laughs> uh, <laughs> experience. Uh, experience, yeah. <laughs> no, but to say that, that them two or three tattoos you've already done are decent to say, you know, some people can do it two years and still only be at that level. Yeah, which you know obviously, I mean? like, coming from, like, yous in here and stuff like that. So like, we started at the beginning, as you know, because yeah, we tattooed you when we very first started. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did a little caravan. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's just learning, learning process, isn't it? You know, you've got to, you've got to start somewhere. And I will get, you get people like saying, "Oh, you won't do it, and you, you, you won't be able to do it, and stuff like that." And obviously, like I, them sort of people, I want to like prove them wrong, so I can say, "Yeah, I can, do, I can do it." Yeah, it just drives you on a bit more. Yeah, and I'm like determined to do it, and in future, I want to become, you know, a tattoo artist. Yeah, I, I love it. I love doing it. Full-time job. Yeah, yeah full-time job. Yeah, hundred percent. I just, I like seeing people's like. Like obviously I'm one of them free, but like when they say, oh yeah, it looks good that, and then people like- You're already looking past it, right? Now. Yeah, like what we can do next. And then like when people like like it and comment and say, oh, can I have a, can you do me one? Can you do, you know, it gives me like a lot of confidence where we're doing it. And obviously learning as yeah, well, doing these lessons, it's it's massive. A lot of people think we're quite mad that we're willing to show some people like our secret <coughs> tricks and tips that we do, but you'll know yourself already, there's that many people wanting tattoos. I think there's enough work out there for everyone. Oh know? yeah, yeah, 100%. But you still got to, you, even though sat here and watching you and, and, and doing it, you still got to, you still got to, to do it. It's you know, a big like, commitment. Yeah, yeah, it's a big commitment. Yeah, like obviously buying the, the best equipment you can afford to buy yeah. that. You do need to have the good equipment. You can't go out and go and buy yeah. just a, a cheap yeah. machine, eBay, because I did it, I did it a couple of years ago, I bought a really, really cheap machine and tried it, didn't know what I was doing yeah. with it. I just smacked it on and I thought, right, hey, I'll have a go with that. Yeah. And obviously you don't get the results. But So you could have packed it in and just thought that won't feel just because you want to use the right equipment. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. But well, it definitely helps, let's put it like that. Oh, 100%, yeah, def definitely. Like the, the better inks, the better needles. You'll go out and buy rubbish needles you're gonna have rubbish work. Yeah. Oh, your job's gonna be a lot Yeah, so you do have to commit yourself in buying the good equipment you've got to do. You can't just think, oh, well, I'll buy cheap stuff and then hopefully I'll be able to tackle because it does not work. It yeah, does yeah. not work whatsoever. So are you gonna do some tackles on yourself as well, like I did when I first started? Yeah, I've already done a couple before. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's, it's hard to do it on yourself. Well, you know, because everything's yeah. upside down, especially, like, you only got certain, body yeah. parts where you can actually do it. You yeah. can't, I can't, I couldn't do this arm because I can't obviously stretch my skin because I've got needle in other arms. So yeah. it's mostly legs and, and it takes ages when you're putting all stuff down to white feet. Oh yeah, it's, so I just, uh, but it's good practice I suppose. Yeah, it is good practice. Yeah, it is good practice. But I'd like to think like, like I've seen some people's first tattoos and stuff like that, what they've done and you just think, wow, so yeah. it's uh, yeah, that's driving you on a bit more. Yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent. Because like I said, yeah, if everyone were building straight away, you'd probably think, oh, fuck, no, I've had enough of this. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll just gonna sell my equipment and I'll, I'll do yeah. some I'll do something different. But uh, no, I'll, I, I enjoy it. I think that's the main thing as well. You just got to enjoy it. It's like I said to a lot of people when when you tattoo it, 
I mean, I've worked in factories, I've done all different jobs, and there's no, no worse than looking at clock thinking, how long have I got left? Yeah. So, with tattooing, it's, time does not matter, you're just enjoying it. Yeah, I was like, I, before, I, you know, could do it, man. Yeah, I could do it all day and all night. It's tiring, though, yeah. mentally. It is very, very tiring because it concentrates that hard. Obviously, like, for like you guys now, it's just like second nature, so it's just like, bum, 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 but it's bum. still, I, I say it's a little bit like driving, you know, it's like you yeah. drove, drove to Cornwall and back, and obviously you're going to be tired. Yeah, right? yeah, because it's, it's, it's more of a mental, a mental job than it is physical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I, I just I like all I like I like everything about it, the process, everything. So in between Christmas and New Year we're hoping you're gonna do a tattoo and I'm gonna monitor you and see <laughs> Yeah, which I'm I'm a bit nervous about to be fair. You know what? Yeah, but like when obviously like there's people and especially that guy over there, he'll be straight up saying, Oh well that's shit. Oh that's, that's really the magic shit. man. Yeah, the magic mm -hmm. man. You know which poor bastard's gonna have to enjoy it while you're the watching? Your mum. Whoa. No. <laughs> nah, it's. Uh, I am nervous for it, but I know. I know. I need to. I need you to see what I can do I face think to face. As well, when I saw it first started, half the battle is the nerves with a customer you don't know. It's not so bad if you're doing a friend and he's known you, and you can have a bit of a banter. Yeah, but yeah. When it's someone who's been referred from a friend, you sort of doing a tattoo on someone you ain't got a clue. Cool. You can't really work them out what they want, so it's trying to simple everything out. Yeah. To make, not, yeah. To make you on the same wavelength as what they are. Yeah, yeah. But people obviously still got to understand that, like, I'm not a tattoo artist. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning. As I'm, long as you make that clear before, have you? Oh, thought? yeah, yeah. Like anything I ever post, I always put learning each time and, yes. you know, and stuff like so that. So you know where. Yeah. yeah, because, like I said, I've, got, I've had people message me, like, can you do with this and can you do with that? I'm like, Real proper professional tattoo artist, you know what yeah, I mean? Struggle really, really with it, struggle yeah. with that, so I don't know what you're expecting yeah. from me, you know, for to do it. But yeah. eventually, I will get that because I'm determined to, to to get to that stage. So, any portrait requests? Any box, are they? Portrait requests. Oh yeah, I've had one. Can you do? Can you do my grand and stuff like that? And, and I'm just like, I'm not being funny, but no, <laughs> I'm not being funny. No, I can't. What, not yet. Yeah. So you go. Well, yeah. Well, the thing is, though, I've learned everything from you about it. So <laughs> that's that's the good thing. But there's a big thing with tattooing as well. Is like you, you get a lot of people going to different shops, and they sort of think that the quality doesn't matter. They'll sort of go ask for a very difficult tattoo or something that looks really hard, and they just expect that anyone can do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, like obviously, all tattoo artists have all got different styles yeah. and different. You know, some are really good at portraits, yeah, yeah, some are good yeah. at some. Are, you know, there's there's all there's all different sorts of tattoos, and every artist is it's different. But if you can get, I think if you can get like the basics, the yeah. fundamentals of it, then obviously you you can learn your own way how you want to do it as well. But like like I was sort of saying earlier, there's an art in understanding what the customer wants, so it's it's very important that you have a good chat with them and sort of show. Yeah, you need to they know might what show they you want. a design. Yeah, if you can show them another five similar, you can build on a picture. Of you in your mind that you think, well, I know what style of stuff they like. Yeah, yeah. So you find out what they, yeah, like you said. The if everyone just came and showed you one picture and you did it, the customer will come to a halt where they'll say, well, I want that joining step, but I don't know how to do that. Yeah. So you've got to like sort of tell them beforehand. Well, when we get to this stage, we're going to need this. So is, yeah. is this going to sort of match? Do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So understand. a lot of it is about communication before even thinking about tattooing. Yeah, and I think you've got to obviously trust. The tattoo artist as well, like you can give him some ideas, and then yeah, like a lot of people they'll do come in and just be like, listen, I want this sort of thing, I want this sort of thing, and then yeah, they'll let you go with they'll the let you go with the flow of it, which I can imagine is but a lot takes, easier. Yeah, and it does take a, probably a while to build that trust up with. Oh yeah, hundred percent. With customers, yeah. <laughs> like Rob, he just says this will do anything along their lines. Yeah, and he knows how many tattoos he wants, he knows where he wants to be, and a year that line, what he wants to tattoo. So yeah, and like you said, it's just trust again, though, isn't it? With yeah, you know, seeing your work, or yeah, seeing your work, yeah, the reputation and, and everything. Yeah.
was on about then is like how not to take some work on it you're uncomfortable with. You still get stuff, Nathan, where you oh, you sort of say no or you'd be you know try yeah, different yeah, artists. Definitely, or, um, obviously, uh, keep away from you know like hyper realism and stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't really like doing like the mandala geometric -y stuff. Uh, even though I do do a lot of colour, I hate doing you know, like full on colour. Yeah. Uh, just what do you think about tattooing girls? Because that's another different thing altogether, isn't it? I think their tattoo should be done in a completely different style as what you do yeah. for a male. Yeah, I think yeah, it's different when you put like with both sides, you can get away with doing things a little bit darker. Um, I think most Whereas girls really like a delicate to be, touch, yeah. That's it, they want to be delicate, thin lines and soft shading. Yeah, that's just pound it in <laughs> with colour. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, but yeah, you do, you do get them odd times where the direction on that's quite poor. But well, obviously, you'd work that out by talking to them, wouldn't yeah, you? Before I've seen yeah, images. So, like, well, what we always suggest is, oh, I'll do it like this nice and softly delicate. Yeah. If you want it darkening up, then come back, because you can always work forward, but not backwards. Yeah, yeah. But it's just trying to advise them really. Uh, sometimes you do get where they're just adamant. Uh, one thing I found up to me being my, especially when I first started, I wanted cheap ones in the shop. They always used to sell, I want them to do it because it's cheap. But well, like, they want the same level of quality. Yeah, and it's like, well, there's a reason, you know what I mean? Like, your price is different. Now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but see, like, I don't want to, I don't want to do tattoos and people want to because they're just cheap. I want them to go away and be happy with the end result of yeah. the tattoo, you know? So, yeah, it's cheap and I understand what you're saying there, but you still want them to like go away with oh, a yeah. smile on the yeah, face yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Believe it or not, we've actually had people come through the door. Very, very rarely we get people just walking from the street who don't know of us or they're just passing basically. Mm. We, had, we had one person say, do you do, do you price match? Oh, yeah, and so, do, do you price match? Yeah, they'll be down for a quote and you'll meet it. Yeah. For a consultation, and then it says, we're going to open about a week later, and it says, and this one hour reception, so it says, uh, Right mate, I've done a bit of shopping about it. This one was Joe and Joe, like, four eighty or something per day. Um, and he says, I've shopped about it. He says, uh, but I found a place that'll do exact same, same amount of hours, <clears throat> uh, full day, 300 quid. He says, so if you can price match that, he says, you've got me, you've got me as your customer. Um, it's just weird what people think about it. It's the price match, and I said, depends if they quality match. <laughs> yeah, it's like I said, back to, Every artist is different. He might have gone there and it's three hundred pound, and then could have come, gone somewhere else, and uh, it'd have been it'd have been terrible. And he's paid what fifty quid less or whatever. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, I don't think a lot of people understand. A lot. Did he have any towels before? Yeah, well, it's know, like a first one. I think a lot of people now, the general public, do know a little bit about towels because you know years ago you just go in maybe eighteen year old. I just want something on today, but... Oh, they used to have reels, didn't they? Because all the friends have had them, or they've been recommended to so-and-so yeah. place. Yeah, pictures on the walls. Yeah, pictures on the wall, yeah, 30 quid, 40 quid, 50 yeah. quid, yeah. What it's... number do you want? What number do you want? Yeah, you like, pick it, like getting a Chinese on it. Might be a local takeaway. Like a local takeaway, yeah. I love that bulldog, number 46. And they've had about 30 designs, so everyone... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm yeah. going to go back for that next week. Yeah. That's all they've ever had once in here. Somebody come in and says, where's your book? And I'm like, what do you need? So I can pick what number I'm going to go like. Nah. Yeah. Well, that's all I've had with. So you're like, oh, I've got 40 quid. What can I get? <laughs> can I leave a uh, footprint? <laughs> 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 but we always try and get value for money. You've got to understand that not everyone can afford, you know, to go to the more expensive places. It's all. Yeah. There's always going to be work for people in the lower categories. You know, the shops that charge less, they're always going to get work. Yeah, of course, yeah. And as long as customers are happy with it, I suppose it don't really matter, does it? No. But it depends what bracket you want to be in. Obviously, we aim high and we want to be well thought about and just sort of keep trying as best, but <laughs> some people aren't in that situation, are they? No, they're not, but then sometimes you've got to think, like, if you're going for... If, if you're paying for a cheap tattoo, yeah. it's not going to look great. It, it, no one's that blind to think like, oh, I'm going to pay, yeah. pay 
20 pound an hour and that's going to look exactly like this is because yeah. it's not and, and, and if you do think that then you know one thing i found as well like a lot of people come here for like a short name like it's like dad on, on, on wrist or something and they'll say how much is that and i said i'm looking minimum 30 quidditch 30 yeah, quidditch. before you start and yeah like, oh, well, like, they do it well for swinging it's like i can't see how because yeah, but then I think that goes back to then like buying quality stuff because maybe they're charging that sort of price and it's like are they gonna be not be using the, the good stuff? Like you use yeah. the best stuff you do and it does come at a price. Yeah. Well like what Nathan's saying there is like some days rather than when something I might go in, I might have three or four smaller tattoos, which very rare because I've normally do bigger bigger six teams, but yeah. The smaller ones are really finicky, so you have got to charge to an extent because you've still got to design it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Check it through, stencil it, and it's all taking time rather than someone having a full day. You can get four designs that you know they're going to have in the day, print them all off in one go. Yeah, yeah. And away you go, you just set it here at once, and then it's just. Yeah, you're away then, aren't you? Yeah, that's day. Set for day. Hello everybody and welcome to the Skinworks team. We're joined by all the knobheads who are right here. And we'd just like to personally thank everybody at home, all our customers, all our supporters for coming along, having your tattoos and just supporting our work online and commenting on this YouTube. And we'd also like to say a massive Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Uh, our last day is so packed. Let's take a look at what's been your highlight of this year. What's oh, been your, right, no. what's well, your favourite tattoo? My favourite tattoo is basically that one we, we had a cancellation on. So oh, we didn't turn up. Yeah, I'm kidding. I don't remember. I'm quite surprised about the last uh, question. So. Well, thank you, thank you for that back tree. That's, uh, <laughs> that's I, just, that's no, 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 I wasn't ready for anything. I thought we were just going to see over here, to be honest. <laughs> What's your favourite time? My favourite time this year was probably obviously when you met when Ellie. you had a week off. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, me too as well, like proper <laughs> men that. There were no arguing. Yeah, no, I think the favourite, my favourite tattoo I've enjoyed doing this year was well, a couple of weeks ago, that Pennywise. <laughs> Pennywise, oh, it. Yeah, really enjoyed that one. I, thought it was just I think the most popular tattoo that I've done this year has got to be the skull on the back. Yeah. It, it let me do what I wanted and it was quite easy. What about a wolf, what no, about a wolf with blue eyes? I think I'm, <laughs> <laughs> what I think more happy about, about this year is the portraits. Like, yeah. I, feel, I, feel, more, I feel like more. it's better, better. You've tattooed a lot of dogs this year. Oh yeah, as well. What about I feel you like an animal planet. What would you say? <laughs> would you say your favourite tattoo this year has been the one that you actually finished and got back in? Is it a question to me now? <laughs> How do you think you'll get back to finish them next year? <laughs> oh, just that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking piss like Let me say you police and then. My favourite tattoo would be Ooh, I don't know that many of them obviously every day. I'm trying to think. Which one stands out? 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 They all do, to be like, every, what bird do you I'm trying to think which is my favourite one. No, no, it's a nice looking girl, you sort of like the tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, it's, you I, 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 I like it, I really enjoy doing, like, obviously it's Fire. the sad, yeah, the sad, big sad yeah, pieces on women. Where they're naked. Do you, uh, what about you, what's <laughs> been your heart? Will Ellie be tattooing a bit next year, I wonder. Our relationship going between you two because it's really tense on sofa. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I, can I can feel it. Can you feel it? It's really, yeah, it is. A can bit she hold a smile all week yeah. next year? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think New Year's <laughs> resolution <laughs> next year. She's to come into work and be smiling every single day. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's like Wednesday. <laughs> um, I think she should just start with the week just before. Go, 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 go. <laughs> that is a hard thing to do when you work with your yeah. Smile. <laughs> Really so we wish everyone a Merry Christmas. If you um, haven't already, like, share, share, uh, subscribe. <laughs> and so. comment in the... Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that <laughs> like button! Ellie, really, have you got to see what's your camera for? Comment got? below which is your favourite artist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> see you right. next year. Comment below who's the best looking. Christmas, of course. Christmas wave. Bye! Oh, la, la. Thanks for watching. We wish you all a very Merry Christmas. We'll be back in the new year with lots of new videos. And as ever, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.